What's up everyone out there? It's your boy Seti of Seti Knows Tech and today we're going to go over and take a look at these new AirTags that Apple recently released, um, I guess technically last week. Um, we did get them in, so they have come in, so you can now officially go out there and pick up these AirTags. Um, basically what these AirTags are, are Apple's new tracking mechanism to allow you to attach these small um, air tags onto things such as your purse, backpacks, um, keys, and things to that nature, and then have precision finding, locating them with your iPhone in case you lose them or misplace them and so forth. So on the channel here today, we actually have a four pack of air tags, along with a couple accessories. Um, one is the Belkin, um, I guess, loop holder or, or tag holder that you can hook on to your air tags and hook it on to maybe like keys and so forth. And then we actually have an Apple on um, one of their loops. This is this is an official Apple loop that you can actually pick up and put your ad tags in and hook it to maybe like your backpack, things like that. So we're going to get into this right now. But before we get into any of that, you know what time it is. Cue my intro. So as I kind of said, um, today we're going to look at the Apple AirTags, as you can see them here. Um, it's in the, you know, standard Apple minimalistic kind of like packaging. Um, you can get a single AirTag. If you just want one AirTag, you can get that for um, $29. If you want a pack of four like this right here, um, that will cost you, that will set you back $99. So $29 for a single um Apple AirTag, $99 for a pack of four. Then you can also get various, and I didn't get all the loop holders, but you can also get various kind of tag holders that you can um, attach it to so that you can hook it onto, you, like, you know, like I said, your backpack, your keys, luggage, and things like that. I just picked up one of the Belkin um, tag holders uh, along with one, one of the type of Apple official Air, um, AirTag holders. And this one can go like a, like a briefcase and things of that nature. This one is more like for um, similar thing, I guess, maybe like your your, your purse, maybe. Um, they do have some that have that little key ring that you can hook onto your keys and so forth. Um, they didn't have any when I went there to pick mine up, and I was dumb enough not to pre-order it. So at some point, probably this coming week, I'll go out there and I'll pick up a, a key holder to actually hook onto my keys officially. But... We got a couple of those, so we'll be digging into that right now. So let's get started with the unboxing of the four pack of Apple AirTags. So with so with the Apple AirTags, what you have is basically a very, like I said, is a very minimalistic kind of Apple packaging. You know, nothing too much to it. They do have the little the little tag in the back that you can kind of pull. And that you know allow you kind of get into the air tags a little bit easier. And when you do that, everything comes out. You do get some um, literature from the air tags and more literature. But you can see as I open this up, there you have them. The four tags that come with it. On the front of that, it just says Apple AirTag. And that's that's pretty much it when it comes to the actual packaging of the AirTags. I will say that if you want to use the AirTags on your iPhone or any Apple device, you do want to update to the latest um, iOS update or iPad update, which is um, 14.5. So you do want to kind of make sure that you have the latest update when it comes to at least 14.5 to better utilize the AirTag because that's the update that actually activates the air tag and so forth so pulling one of these air tags out i'm just going to pull out one for the time being yeah it's basically it's just it's just a little tag that's basically what it is it has um i don't know if that's plastic or what is that but it's it feels good it feels durable you know and it is like a little draw, it's like a little pull tab. So I guess that would act, that's what activates it. So when you act, when you pull it, 
Okay, I don't know if you caught that on camera. It was a little sound that said like, whatever that did sound was. But I guess that's what activates the air tag. It's basically white on the outside, silver, and got the little Apple, um, what you call it, logo, the Apple logo on the, on the back. And basically that's, that's what an air tag is. That's all it is, is something that small. And it's meant to be that small because it, you know, you just hook it on to whatever you're trying to hook it on to and you know um, add it to your phone so that you can actually precisely find this air tag. So with this one, I'm actually gonna just um I'm probably gonna ha hook this air tag to this particular loop. So let's quickly look at this real quick. Okay, basically comes with um a little, little piece of plastic, basically, that holds the actual air tag in place, something like that. So you, so you can just basically, I guess you could just drop it in, like so, and reconnect it like that. It's very easy to hook up, so that's pretty good. These air tags are supposed to last a, a year, so supposedly they're supposed to last a year. Before you have to replace the battery, supposedly the battery is supposed to be easy to replace. Suppose you bust your ship, but I just kind of push this in and twist. I think. Oh, there you go. You yeah, you push it in and twist. It's like a pill bottle, something like that. And bam, there it is. Let me see if I can do this better for y'all. It's just a little battery there, little a little um like type watch battery type um it's a, it comes with i guess i don't know if they all come with panasonics but this particular one came with a panasonic battery and then when you want to push it back in you just kind of push it in and kind of push down a little bit and with your finger kind of twist so like 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 if you do with your pill bottle kind of push it in and twist and it comes back in place so that's kind of cool that it allows you to kind of you know change the battery out that simple and did I do this right let's see and this should snap just snap in place I think yeah that was easy there you have it y'all this is the Belkin um, loop holder for the Apple AirTag it's just that simple um, it does come with the little string attachment or string I could just say that you can loop through here and then you know you can put it around whatever you want to loop it around and then just kind of do something like that just that simple so I'm gonna add I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my keys and we will take a look at you know how how well this works go ahead and try to get it all paired up um before I do that though let's we will take a look at this one so let's go ahead and open up this this is the official Apple um loop holder for like luggage and briefcase and so forth like i said there's a lot of these kind of loops not a lot but there's there's various size and loops that do different things or not just do different things but like can hook onto different things like your keys luggage backpacks you know things like that so i just got a couple with the belkin one the belkin one was 12.95 the belkin um loops that this this particular loop holder was 12.95 Whereas the Apple stuff that came with Apple, of course, it could be more expensive. So it was thirty bucks, well, twenty nine bucks to be precise, twenty nine bucks versus twelve ninety five. So, you know, I just bought this one so I can take a look at. It. I'll probably use more of these because they're just holders. I don't, I don't see why I gotta spend double for the Apple loops when these will work just as fine, I guess. But I did want to have one for the show or for the the channel, so. But that's it. Let's at least take a look at this one. And I don't know. I might actually get a couple more. It just depends on how these feel and, how, and stand up. Okay. So with that said, okay. That's the actual official Apple loop inside the box. It didn't come with much other than just the. Yeah, it just came with this thing. Just this little cardboard cut out with the loop attached um on the back it does talk about how to properly um i guess you can you can de detach it here 
Okay. I guess you can once you loop it in place, you can so it detaches in the back here. So it's like a it's, it's connected here. A little metal little loop. You can detach it temporarily. And I guess that's yeah, and that's actually where you will actually put your loop, your um your air tag, and you just push it into this little hole here. And once it's in there, nice and nice and you know, nice and place and so forth, I guess you will. Yeah, you can loop around your luggage and then reattach it or reclip it to the to the snap, and that's and that will hold up. It feels more durable than this. I, I'm, I have to admit, this particular air, um, this particular the Apple stuff appears to be more durable than um, I say than something like this. Actually, I think I did that wrong. Actually, now that I think about it, it looks like. You just snap that in place just to hold the air tag, and once you have, once you then you loop it around your luggage or whatever, and I guess you just fit this through here, and then attach it like that. And all these instructions are in the back of the actual um, loop. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. So nothing, no, not nothing really rocket science about it. You just gotta kind of do what I was not doing, which is read the instructions. But um, yeah. So, I do like the feel of this. I don't know if it's polyurethane. I think that's what it is. You know, some of that Apple material, like, you know, they put on some of their other cases and things. It do feel more durable than this plastic, but we'll just have to see how it holds up over time. But let's go ahead and attach this particular AirTag to my keys and um, add it to the what I'm trying to say, add it to the actual iPhone, to my iPhone, so we can actually say, okay, this AirTag is for my keys, and then we'll actually do a precision finding. We'll put it on my desk and maybe walk to the front of the house and see how well that works in finding, precisely finding this AirTag from my iPhone. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So as you see here, I have my, um, my keys and my AirTag. And I just realized that since I have not just realized, but I just realized it's probably better since I have this little loop right here, instead of trying to hook it through this little drawstring and kind of get it, you know, dangling, um, I can just directly hook it to my little metal loop. Like I said, this is the Belkin, um, this is the Belkin, um, AirTag loop. It was $12.95 from the Apple store and so forth. So real easy to put on, but yeah, I'm gonna hook it to these keys. So let me just set these out of the way. So let's go ahead and pair these. So basically the way they're supposed to work is if I bring my iPhone close to it, let's see, I'll unlock it and get unlocked. Yep, there we go. You see it pops up just like if you use like connect like your um, AirPod touches or something like that. So I'm just gonna hit connect. You can name your AirTag. So they got a bunch of things that you can possibly hook it up to, including a custom name. So I'm guessing if you want to you know, give it a custom name, you can put it there. But I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to hit continue. But I'm going to take it off camera for a second because when you, it brings up some personal information about your Apple ID and all that kind of stuff. You just have to hit continue. And now you can see that it's actually pairing since Cedric's keys is setting up. And there we go. So... Um, you can look at things such as, I guess this is, like I said, it's 14 out of five. So you can actually see, let me see if I can bring it up any closer. Whoa. You can actually see right here where I can actually, where it actually has my keys and so forth, along with different things you can do. Let's see. Um, you can play a sound. So let me see if I hit this play sound. So if you're like in a room and you like, if you're trying to find exactly where it is and you just want to hear the sound, you just hit the play sound, and you hear it. Um, it also gives you the battery life on it. I know it's kind of probably, yeah, let's see if I can make this a little clearer. And it tells you right now that the battery is pretty much full. 
Um, and then if you want to find your key, uh, find this particular air tag, you can say find, which is what we're gonna test right now. So I'm gonna take my iPhone to the front of the house and we, let's see if we can find, you know, use precision finding to find exactly where this air, air tag is at. So what I've now done is I'm sitting back here um, towards, the, towards the, um, the front of my house or my doorway. And we're gonna hit, try to hit find. I guess it's trying to connect to the AirPod. Let's see. Okay. So once it locks in on where the AirPod is at, because I've kind of walked towards the kitchen now, and I walk towards it. Let's see. It's kind of showing me how many feet I'm at. And as I get closer to it, you can see that's where the air tag is at. And uh, once I get there, it tells me I'm here. So it does give you like sort of like precision finding on the air tag. So it's telling me like I'm walking away from it now. So if I turn back around, like I said, it kind of shows you where my keys are at. You can kind of it's like it's kind of like a scavenger hunt kind of. And it's telling me it's pointing me directly to where I'm at. Once I'm in within, a, I guess, a few feet of it, two feet, then it's buzzing. You get haptic feedback on the phone. And as you move closer to it, it tells you that you're here. So you know exactly where that air tag is at. That's kind of neat. That's really, that's really nice to see, to have that kind of precision finding on the air tag. So if you lose things, you can know, you can exactly know where it's at. That's nice. So in a nutshell, that is it. That's um, that is the Apple AirTag. Like I said, this is a simple device used to hook on to things that you want to keep track of every day, such as keys, wallets, purses, backpacks, and things of that nature. Um, it's easy to pair. It literally just bring it close to your iPhone, and if it's not paired, it will go ahead and pair with it. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook this onto the the loop, the key loop of my my um keys and. Now, I should never lose my keys technically again because I will have this in place to keep it in place and at least locate them and so forth. So, um, compared to tile and things like that, we'll have to kind of see how time plays out to see how well it competes and things of that nature. It does have a couple competitors on the market. There's a Samsung one for Android um, that came out or that either is coming out or it has come out. Then of course there's Tile, probably the most well known um, these kind of tracker devices and so forth. Um, it is easy to switch the batteries in and out so that's a, that's a plus. I like the way it looks. It's very simplistic. That's nice. Um, there's a lot of accessories, I should say, that can that's that's all over the place and, and cost. Um, from like twelve ninety five for something as simple as this to, I think there's one by Hermes or something like that. That's maybe a hundred bucks something like that, which I think is ridiculous. I I don't I'm not gonna say that's ridiculous. I don't tell people how to spend their money, but it's just a, it's just a holder. It just holds your your tag in place and keeps it, you know, on the on the device that it's on. So I can't say it's stupid, but you know, each their own. Um, I do like it. I I can see this doing very well in the market. Um, you know, in the digital age where you know people just put down things. I like I said, my wife will use my keys and you know go run her errands and come back, and she doesn't put them back where I usually put them at, or she'll put them in some obscure place and then be like I don't know where you at of course you do you're the last one to use them but now with something like this I will be able to at least open up my iPhone find exactly where it's at so yeah so this is just one of the things that Apple released at their last or the, at their latest um online event they release air tags they release purple iPhones which we will have here um on the channel in a couple of days, um, my wife, you know, my wife, we picked up um, a purple iPhone as well as the M1 iPad Pro. That is, yeah, that is a beast of an iPad. And we have one here for the channel. We got a fully spec version, two terabytes of um, space, um, 16 gigs of RAM. 
M1 chip, all the coolness that comes along with that. So we got all that here. That will be here, um, I think on the 24th, something like that, was when we actually get in our, in our hands. So we'll do an unboxing and all that. But this right here is one of the items that came out. I like it. I love it. Um, like I said, I got four of them. We're getting $29 for a single. AirTag, $99 for a pack of four. Not too bad. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is a fairly new channel, so you know I will I, I really appreciate any subscriptions and you know just people coming back to get more content um like this kind of content from me. Um yeah, hit that yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you know when I push new content to the channel. And until the next one, as always, stay geeky, stay techy. SETI out.